Hi, in this video we're going to show you another way to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox and bypass the TPM check. So as of this video, VirtualBox still doesn't have a uh, TPM that you can add to your computer to satisfy the Windows 11 requirements. So we have another video that we did that shows you one way to get past this. Actually, there's a couple ways. You could also create some uh, Windows 11 installation media that um, bypasses the check as well. So this is technically a third way, I think. Maybe we have more, I'm not sure, that we're going to show you how to do it. All right, so the first step is to just create a virtual machine like you normally would. We'll call this N11 New. And just pick your locations, just give it your memory and so on, say about 8 gigs. And I'll just make this 60 for now. Dynamically allocated is fine. Oops, not 680. Okay, then you want to go into the settings, and under system, make sure you have two processors, and then for storage, under your controller here, your SATA controller, you want to click on add for the uh, optical drive, and then you want to browse to this ISO file here, which I'll put a link in the, in the uh, description, you can download it, this TPM hack. And if you don't have it in your list here, you just have to click on Add and Browse to it. Then you could come here and add it. So I'll choose this. And then for your other one, your standard uh, CD-ROM drive that comes with the uh, default configuration here, then you could do your Windows 11 regular ISO file here. So we got both those there. We got our two processors. I'll click OK. And I'll start the VM. Okay, press any key to boot to VM, or boot to CD like you normally would. Okay, now when you get to this first window screen, you want to do Shift F10 on your keyboard to get the command prompt. So now it's either going to be your D drive or your E drive, because you have your C drive and then you have your two uh, virtual optical drives there. So I know it's the E for this case. So if you do a directory, DIR, you'll see this TPM PWN batch file here, so all you gotta do is run that. Okay, and then once it's done, just click on exit. And then you could continue the installation here. Just pick your version, we'll pick home, that's fine. Agree, custom, use all the space. And I can see it's copying the files and starting installation. So if you didn't do this, it would have failed by now saying it couldn't find the uh, TPM. So once again, I will put the uh, link in the description for the ISO file, then just uh, configure your VM accordingly like you saw in the video, and then you should be able to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox without any problems. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.